Energy efficiency. That's a term you've probably heard thousands of times before, right? But do you really understand it and how it can affect your day-to-day -day life? Well, if you're a homeowner like me, you probably should. Hi, I'm Chris Hurt with Block Strong. Energy efficiency is the principle of using less energy to perform the same task. Now, as a homeowner, that means using less heating or cooling energy to achieve and maintain a comfortable indoor temperature. Have I lost you yet? Well, what if I add the term thermal mass? What about R value? There are lots of complicated factors that contribute to just how energy efficient your home may be. Now, I'm not the expert, but luckily, I've met a lot of very smart people who can help to simplify this topic for us. Let's meet them right now. Gentlemen. Don. Hi, Chris. Good to see you, Tim. Hi, Chris. Hey, thanks so much for being with us. So, I think I just handled the basic definition of energy efficiency and what that is, but I need some help with this uh, term thermal mass. Tim, I'll start with you. So, what is that and, and why should we care? So thermal mass is the ability for a material to retain heat and conversely release heat. So let's say it gets hot during the day, it then can release the heat at night. So the more thermal mass you have, the better off you are. Okay. As soon as the um, environment cools off in the evening, then that heat flows back out to the, uh, to the outside. Which is what we want. We don't want it flowing to the inside of the house, right? Right. For low mass structures, the heat simply goes through the wall into the, uh, into the inside. So I suspect that wood frame construction has low thermal mass? Low thermal mass. Yes. Which would allow that heat to transfer more easily. And where does concrete block fall on that scale of thermal mass? Is that a good, are we in a good range there? Well, without any treatment, it's literally double of wood. So I guess a wood frame home is never gonna be as energy efficient as a concrete block home. If thermal mass was the only factor involved, then that would be true, but we also have to consider the R value or added insulation in the wall. I was afraid you were gonna bring that up, R value. So what is R value? So the R and R value stands for resistance and that's the resistance to heat flow, the okay. ability to gain or lose heat. It's the measure of insulation. So the higher the R value, the better it is. So let's go back to the low mass wood frame wall, um, is that if you add extra insulation or increase the R value of the wall, mm -hmm. then you're going to also increase the energy efficiency of the home. As a matter of fact, if you were to make a concrete block wall, uh, at R4 with additional insulation, it would equal an R13 of wood construction. That's very interesting. So R4 in that particular case with that particular concrete wall is going to be three times more efficient than the R13. Exactly. That's a specific case, but uh, if you, in the Florida building code, uh, throughout the code is that uh, um, high mass walls are given at least uh, um, a double the advantage over the, uh, the low mass wall. And the Florida Building Code obviously knows that. So this is all good technical information, but to put it in layman's terms, and I mean dollars and cents, how is that gonna affect, how is this gonna affect my wallet? Well, the exterior wall is only one of the factors that affects the cost of, of energy efficiency in a home. Another huge factor is your infiltration which is the air movement in and out of the house that carries energy in and out of right. the house. Right, you don't want cool air escaping into the heat, obviously. So does concrete block actually offer an advantage in terms of mitigating that air infiltration? Yes, concrete has two huge advantages. One, it's easier to seal and tighten a house that's built out of concrete block. And by being easier to do, it costs much less. That makes perfect sense. What about insurance? Uh, insurance is a huge factor, a huge advantage for concrete masonry. Uh, typically, uh, you can save 20% uh, on your insurance rates wow. with a concrete block home. 20%. All right. Well, there you have it, straight from the experts. Guys, Don, Tim, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. So, let's briefly recap. We've learned that concrete block has a very high thermal mass, which means it's naturally energy efficient. And although our value is often commonly used to make wood frame construction seem more energy efficient than concrete block, as you just heard, the Florida Building Code already acknowledges the advantages of concrete. And last but not least, you can save up to 20% on your homeowner's insurance every year with concrete block construction. All in all, if you want a more energy efficient home for less, you're gonna want concrete block. I'm Chris Hurt, and hey, if concrete can keep you cool in this Florida heat, 
Life really is better with Block. Guys, how about lunch? Sounds good. Good. Someplace with air conditioning, please. <laughs>